पी कंजंक्शन क्यू कंजंक्शन और इज लॉजिकल इक्वल टू पी कंजंक्शन क्यू कंजंक्शन और यू नो इन केस ऑफ डिस्टिंक्शन एफ एंड एफ इज एफ इन ऑल केसेस इट इज ट्रू सो एफ एंड एफ इज एफ एफ एंड टी इज टी T and F is T. T and T is equal to T. Now, what is negation of Q? Negation of Q. For T, it is F. For F, it is T. For T, it is F. For F, it is T. That's it. F T F T. Hello, dear students. Welcome to this session of Mathematical Foundation class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty, Department of Computer Science. with us from first grade college the temple of excellence today in this session i am going to discuss very very important and easiest concept that is called a logically equivalence so to verify whether the given statements are logically equivalent or not that is called a logical equivalence so this is a sure question you may expect one seven or eight marks question from this concept now let me know what is meant by logically equivalence logically equivalence so two compound propositions two compound propositions p and q involving the same components are said to be logically equivalent involving the same components so that is involving the same components are called a logically equivalent that is two compound propositions p and q involving the same components are said to be logically equivalent if the truth values are same for each different combinations if the truth values are same for each different combinations of the truth values of their components so if the truth values are same for different combinations then the two statements are said to be logically equivalent so usually the logically equivalent is represented symbolically like this p is logically equivalent to q p is logically equivalent to q that is p is logically equivalent to q is denoted like this so if all the truth values of the set first proposition is same as that of the second proposition if the two propositions will have the same set of truth values then they are said to be logically equivalent that is two compound propositions p and q involving the same components are said to be logically equivalent and they are denoted as p is logically equivalent to q right now let us take an example now usually we are going to verify some important logically equivalent propositions they are nothing but commutative law come you know commutative law a star b is equal to b star a so in case of logic the commutative law is p disjunction q is equal to q disjunction p p disjunction q is equal to q disjunction p or in case of conjunction p conjunction q is also equal to q conjunction p that is p disjunction that is p or q is equal to q or p p disjunction q or q disjunction p are logically equivalent similarly p conjunction q is logically equivalent to q conjunction p that is p and q is logically equivalent to q and p that's it so r and r are commutative conjunction and disjunction are commutative that is a star b is equal to b star a now associative property if we come to associative property let us consider p q r as the truth values p q r as the propositions p q r as the propositions then here also the conjunction and disjunction are associative like this so p disjunction q disjunction r is logically equivalent to p disjunction q disjunction r that is p disjunction q disjunction r is logically equivalent just interchanging the brackets that is p disjunction q disjunction r that's now similarly in case of conjunction if you consider conjunction p conjunction q conjunction r is logically equivalent to logically equivalent to p conjunction q conjunction r that's it so p conjunction q conjunction r is logically equivalent to p conjunction q conjunction r so this is associative law as well as the commutative law commutative law and associative law now let us come to the next one distributive law in case of distributive laws p disjunction q conjunction r is logically equivalent to p disjunction q conjunction p disjunction r now similarly in case of conjunction p conjunction q q p 
पी कंजंक्शन क्यू डिसजंक्शन आर इज लॉजिकली इक्वल एंड टू पी कंजंक्शन क्यू डिसजंक्शन पी कंजंक्शन आर दैट इज पी एंड क्यू आर आर इज लॉजिकली इक्वल एंड टू पी एंड क्यू आर पी एंड आर राइट नाउ डी मार्गन दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट यू मे एक्सपेक्ट अ क्वेश्चन आइदर फ्रॉम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ और फ्रॉम डी मार्गन लॉ नाउ वट इज दिस डी मार्गन लॉ नगेशन ऑफ पी कंजंक्शन क्यू नगेशन ऑफ पी कंजंक्शन क्यू इज लॉजिकली इक्वल एंड टू नगेशन ऑफ पी डिसजंक्शन नगेशन क्यू नगेशन ऑफ पी कंजंक्शन क्यू इज लॉजिकली इक्वल एंड टू नगेशन पी डिसजंक्शन नगेशन क्यू सिमिलरली Negation of P disjunction Q. Negation of P or Q is logically equivalent to negation P conjunction negation Q. This is very very important. So negation of P conjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation P disjunction negation Q. And similarly, negation of P disjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation P conjunction negation R. Now similarly. In case of conditional, this is also very important property. Negation of P conditional to Q is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q. Logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q. That is negation of P conditional to Q. Negation of P conditional to Q is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q. Similarly, in case of biconditional. What is the negation of biconditional? The negation of biconditional is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q disjunction Q conjunction negation P. So, in case of conditional, negation of P conditional to Q is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q. Whereas, in case of biconditional, negation of biconditional is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q disjunction Q conjunction negation P. This is very very important concept. So, these are few logically equivalent statements. That is, associative law, commutative law, distributive law, De Morgan's law. Right. Now let us take an example. Let me start with an example. Definitely, you will get one question from this for either a seven or a eight marks. This is a sure question, right? For seven or eight marks. Show that negation of P conjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation P disjunction negation Q. The first part, negation of P conjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation P disjunction negation Q. And the second one is negation of P Disjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation P conjunction negation. So if it is a conjunction, you will get disjunction. If it is a disjunction, you will get a conjunction. That's it. Now let us come to this first one. Negation of P conjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation P disjunction negation Q. Let us split the table. Now, as usual, you know, you know how to construct the table. You are much familiar with constructing the table. Now, P Q. Let us write P Q. Then P conjunction Q. Negation of P conjunction Q. Then Negation P, negation Q, disjunction of negation P and negation Q. Okay, now P Q, P conjunction Q, negation of P conjunction Q. Again, negation P, negation Q, and negation of P disjunction negation Q. Now let me write as you know the truth values for P is it is true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. Whereas in case of Q, alternative true and false. This is true. False, true, and false. So true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. You know conjunction. Conjunction means true and true is true. In all cases, it is false. So T and T is T. In all cases, it is false. So that is T and T is T. T and F is F. F and T is F. F and F is also F. Now the negation for this negation. You know the negation for T is F. For F it is T. So negation of T is F. Negation of f is t. Negation of f is t. Negation of f is t. This is the first part of the statement. Now let us come to the second part of the statement. What is the second part? Negation p disjunction negation q. Now write down the negation p. What is negation of p? Negation of for two it is f. So f for t it is f. For f it is t. For f it is t. F f t t. Again negation of q. Negation of q. For t it is f. For f it is t. For t it is f. For f it is t. This is the negation for a q. Now, what to write? 
जो नागेशन पी डिस्टिंक्शन नागेशन क्यू यू नो इन केस ऑफ डिस्टिंक्शन यफ एंड यफ इज यफ इन ऑल केसेस इट इज ट्रू सो यफ एंड यफ इज यफ यफ एंड टी इज टी टी एंड यफ इज टी टी एंड टी इज इक्वल टू टी नाउ लेट एस रेप दिस एज वन फर्स्ट कॉलम सेकेंड थर्ड फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवेंथ कॉलम अब सर केयरफुली फोर्थ कॉलम दिस फोर्थ कॉलम इज सेम एज दैट ऑफ द सेवेंथ कॉलम All the truth values in fourth column are same as that of the seventh column. Yep, yep, T, 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 yep, yep. So what do you say? So fourth and seventh column will have the same truth values. Fourth and seventh column have the same truth values. They are identical. That means these two are logically equivalent. That means negation of P conjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation P disjunction negation Q. So we can say therefore. Negation of P conjunction Q is logically negation of P conjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation P disjunction negation Q. This is how we are going to verify the logically equivalence. That's it. What we followed. See from the table we can say the truth values for fourth column and the seventh column are same. That means fourth and seventh column are identical. They have the same truth values. therefore they are logically equivalent that's it so if you do this much definitely you will get a seven marks no doubt in it now let us come to the second problem so that is negation of p disjunction q is logically equivalent to negation p conjunction negation q right so these are nothing but uh, the de morgan's law verification of de morgan's law so now de morgan's verification of de morgan's law whether they are logically equivalent or not now let us take the second problem what is the second problem negation of p disjunction q is logically equivalent to negation of p conjunction negation q as usually you write p q then p disjunction q again negation of p disjunction q negation of p negation of q again negation p conjunction negation q as usual so write down the truth values as you know the truth values for p it is t t f f t t f f for q it is t f t f true false true false now you know the disjunction what is disjunction in case of f and f it is f in other cases it is true false and false is false in all cases it is true true and true is true true and false is true false and true is also true now let us write out the negation for this p and q negation of p disjunction q so true for true it is false for true it is false for true it is false for false it is true so this is the first set of the given equation now let us come to the second part what is the second part so the second part is negation of p negation of p it is for, for true it is false for true it is false again for false it is true for false it is true f f t t again negation of q negation of q for t it is f for f it is t again t it is f for f it is t so f f t t f t f t now what to write just write down the conjunction for these two the conjunction you know in case of conjunction true or yes in case of conjunction true and true is true in all cases it is false so true and true is true so false and false is false false and true is also false true and false is also false now observe carefully the from the table now let me give the names for this this is first column second column third column fourth column fifth sixth and seventh observe carefully the truth values of uh, fourth column is same as that of the truth values of the seventh column so the columns 4 and 7 have identical that means the truth values of 4th and 7th column are same they are identical hence they are logically equivalent see f f f f f f, f t t so therefore we can say that negation of p disjunction q is logically equivalent to negation p conjunction negation q that is your verification of a de morgan's law that's it right now let us take one more example negation of p conditional to q is logically equivalent to p conjunction negation q 
So conditional statement. This type of results are very important in writing the negation for the, the given implication. So negation of P conditional to Q is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q. Right. This is very important while using results useful for writing the negation. Negation. To write the negation, we are going to use these concepts. These type of implications are very, very important. Now, negation of P conditional to Q is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q. Now, as usual, let us split this P, Q, P conditional to Q, negation of P conditional to Q, negation Q and P conjunction negation Q. As you know, the truth values for this, for P it is true, true, false, false, right. For Q it is true, false, true, false, conditional, conditional, true and false is false, in all cases it is true. So true and true is true, true and false is false, false and true is true, false and false is also true. So in case of conditional, if then T and F is F, in all cases it is true. true T and T is T, T and F is F, F and T is T, F and F is also T. Now let us come to the first part of the statement that is negation of this. Now the negation, negation of P conditional to Q, for T it is F, for F it is T, for T it is F, for T it is F. So F, T, F, F is the conditional. Now let us come to the negation, negation of uh, Q. Now what is negation of Q? Negation of Q. For T it is F, for F it is T, for T it is F, for F it is T. That's it. F, T, F, T. Now P conjunction negation Q. P conjunction negation Q. So in case of conjunction, true and true is true. In all cases it is false. So true and false is false. True and true is true. False and false is false. Again false and true is also false. See this is F. So, F, T, F, F. Now, observe carefully. Let us represent this as 1, 2, 3. It column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, 5 and 6. What do you say from this? So, 4th and 6th column are same. See, 4th column and 6th column will have the same truth values. So, they are identical. F, F, T, T, F, 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 F. So, column 4 and 6 are identical. Hence, they are logically equivalent. So, therefore, what do you say? Negation of P conditional to Q is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q. That is, negation of P conditional to Q. Negation of P conditional to Q is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation Q. That's it. See, all the truth values in fourth column and sixth column are same. Therefore, they are logically equivalent. Hope you followed. Okay, now let us move to the next problem. So, here we have P, Q and R as the simple propositions. What is the compound proposition? Prove that P conditional to Q conjunction R is logically equivalent to P conditional to Q conjunction P conditional to R. This is also a very important type problem. You may expect this for 8 marks or even sometimes for a 10 marks also. Right. Now, P, Q, R, Q conjunction. So, let us uh, split the table. First, write down P, Q, R, then Q conjunction R, then P conditional to Q conjunction R, first part. Second, P conditional to Q, again Q, P conditional to R, then the conjunction between P conditional to Q and P conditional to R. Very simple. How to split? First, P, Q, R, then write Q conditional to R. Then the conditional between P and Q conjunction R, not conditional, it is conjunction, P, Q, R, Q conjunction R, then the conditional between P and Q conjunction R, then P conditional to Q and P conditional to R, then the conjunction between P conditional to Q and P conditional to R, that's it, okay. All conjunction and conditional. Now, right on, as you know, for P, Q, R, the truth values are, for P it is, we will have 4 T first. T, 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 remaining four, F, 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 F. So, T, 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 F, 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 F. Next combination is 2, T, T, F, F. Again, T, T, F, F, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, right. So, T, T, F, F, T, T, F, F. For uh, R, it is alternated true and false. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. These are the 
காம்பினேஷன் டிடிடி டிடிஎஃப் டிஎஃப்டி டிஎஃப்எஃப் எஃப்டிஎஃப் எஃப்டிடி எஃப்டிஎஃப் எஃப்எஃப்டி எஃப்எஃப்எஃப் ரைட் ஸோ அஸ்விஷ் த வெரி ஈஸியஸ்ட் மெத்தட் டு ரிமெம்பர் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபோர் இஸ் டி ரிமைனிங் ஃபோர் ஆர் எஃப் again two to alternate t t f f t t f f then alternate it, true false true false true false like that now conjunction for q and r so in case of conjunction true and true is true in all cases it is false so true and true is true true and false is false false and true is false false and false is also false true and true is true false and true is false false and true is false false and false is false this is the conjunction so conjunction between q r t and t is t again t and is t remaining are all false next conjunction between q and r so in case of conjunction true and true is true in all cases it is false so the conjunction of t and t that is q and r t and t is t t and f it is f f and t is f f and f is f t and t it is t t and f is f f and t is f and f and f is also f so in case of conjunction true and true is true true and true is true in all cases it is false now let us write the conditional now the conditional between p and this the conditional statement between p and q conjunction or so you know in case of conditional true and false is false in all cases it is true so t and t is t t and f is f t and f is f again t and f is f f and t is t f and f is also true f and f is also true f and f is also true so in case of conditional true and false is false in all cases it is so this is true and false is false true and false is false again true and false is false remaining are all true 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 now this is first part of the given statement now let us come to the second part now just write down the conditional for p and q p conditional to q so as you know the conditional true and false is false in all cases it is true true and true is true again true and true is also true true and false is false again true and false is false again false and true is true false and true is also true false and false is also true false and false is also true this is the conditional statement so the conditional for p and q is t and t is t t and t is t t and f is f t and f is f and remaining are all true now p and q p and r the conditional between again p and r p and r as you know the conditional true and false is false in all cases it is true so for p and r these two t and t is t again t and f is it is f again t and t is t so t and f it is f again f and t is t again f and f is also true again f and f is also true and f and uh, f and t is true f and f is also true see it so in between this two t and t is t t and f is f again t and t is t again t and f is f on other all cases are true that's it let us come to the last column now what is the last column the conjunction between these two now last column what is the last column p conditional to q conjunction p conditional to r that is the conjunction between these two now in case of conjunction true and true is true in all cases it is false so true and true is true again true and false is false false and true is false false and false is also false true and true is true 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 now observe carefully let us represent this this is first column second column third column fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth column now what is say the truth values in fifth and eighth fifth column this is fifth column is same as that of the eighth column see the truth values in fifth and eighth column are identical t t f f f f f f t t t t t t and t t so the truth values of fifth and eighth column are identical hence we can say that these to or logically equivalence that is column 5 and 8 are identical so which provides they are logically equivalence these two are logically equivalence right so the truth values of fifth and eighth column are identical hence they are logically equivalence so we can say therefore what is the conclusion part therefore p conditional to q 
q conjunction r is logically equivalent to p conditional to q conjunction p conditional to r that's it this is how we are going to verify the logically equivalence of the given compound proposition so p conditional to q conjunction r is logically equivalent to p conditional to q conjunction p conditional to r that's it so if you do this much definitely will get 8 or 10 marks from this okay this is how we are going to verify the logically equivalence of the given compound proposition so that's all regarding today's session let us meet with the different concept in the next session thank you thank you very much